I just came back from the lobby. I went to go check out a vacuum so I can vacuum our floors. And Matt sent me flowers. Welcome to this vlog. Today was officially my second day of classes. I meant to start this vlog yesterday, but I woke up like 45 minutes late. I thought that my alarm never went off, but my roommate said she heard it. So I think I turned it off in my sleep. I made it to class though, thank God. But I wanted to be able to vlog all day. So today's Tuesday. It's 2.22. Yesterday I had three classes and today I had two and I dropped my first class on Mondays and I'll tell you why. I'm experimenting with all these locations because I really don't know where the best spot is for lighting. Anyway, I had three classes yesterday and I had two today. Both my roommates are at their classes right now and I dropped my first class that I have on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It was pretty good. It seemed like the professor was chill. It was an econ math class or it covered my math credit. It seemed like it was going to be fine. It was a small class and the professor was going through the syllabus and he said something at one point about the final and how it was really late he was like i want to leave town too but that's just the way our time frame is set up and i was like what was he talking about so i went up on the final schedule and i was looking at the classes and i saw that the final for that class was december 20th which is just so painfully close to christmas and i'm done with all my other finals on the 16th i believe so i'd just be waiting here by myself because both my roommates don't have a class in that block or time frame for four days the week before christmas and i think i would just be so upset and this might seem stupid like i don't know i feel like some people would just stick it out and think that was ridiculous but i saw that and i was like i have to find a way to get out of this class i can't take this class and somehow literally by the grace of god i was able to get into an online intro to social media class that covered a different section of my credits i love social media i share my life on social media so i'm way more interested in learning about that than economics i have to take math at some point i think i probably will over the summer or something like that just to do a condensed class because i don't love math but i'm still taking the same amount of credits i was originally just taking one class online and i don't have to get up as early so it's a blessing yesterday was a good day because it was the first day i didn't cry that sounds so pathetic i was telling one of my friends yesterday we were walking to class and i said i really didn't think i was an emotional person until i left home and i got ready to move away like i was an emotional wreck in my whole life i was like i'm not emotional i just tend to internalize things i don't really like i'm not a crier i mean you've seen it if you've been keeping up with my videos i was a wreck in the last one and the one when i left but it's been a better week so far the past few days have been really good they've been busy but good it's nice to have a little more structure to my day because honestly i got here and i was like oh my gosh because it seemed like everyone was just out partying there were events at night and reasons to go out you know but i wouldn't pick partying as my first choice activity you know what i mean the past few days have been better because it's felt more like a routine and it's starting to feel homier i really do love my dorm so much and i love my roommates we've been doing everything together and we've had a great time i need to have kira on here to tell the story about her rash because it was kind of a doozy this whole weekend but we went to target on i think saturday and I filmed a little bit from that, so I'll insert it here. We just got back from Target. It literally feels like I broke out of jail. <laughs> Not that this feels like jail, that's so incredibly dramatic. It was just nice to be in a car and get off the campus and go to Target and get a Starbucks. Somehow we all forgot to bring pads and tampons. <laughs> so we all got pads and tampons. We got a Swiffer because we also realized we didn't have any way to clean the floor. We have a vacuum, but the we have floor gross is like shoes tile. on. Yeah, it's all tile pretty much. Hi, Emily Cam. Okay, I got this and I'm really excited to use it it's the best i'm gonna show this was a bit of an impulse purchase i only brought one makeup brush and it's super old and gross so i figured why not, why not start fresh and these were on sale yeah oh, oh i have realized how clumsy i am i drop everything then we have the ice situation we did get an ice tray we really wanted to get an ice maker oh, but so they're 200 bucks they're like 120 dollars 200 dollars i don't know something crazy we don't need that we're only here for a year it's not worth it to spend not the money on it nine. not even a year like nine months mm -hmm. and we can get ice from the dining hall we're going with the ice tray for now because it just doesn't make sense to spend such an ungodly amount of money on an ice maker and some undies say that again granny panties for the sleep like honestly, comfort is key. It is, it's true. Oh, oh is that gross? Are you... We have a lot of cleaning and stuff to do. Smell it, guys. I don't want to smell it, wait. It's just like plastic. -y. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Oh, then look, they're rubber, so. Right, you can just pop it right out. So. Perfect. Come on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, so gross. No. That's definitely mine. Sponsors, Taylor. 
<laughs> that was a dark adventure. We were literally back the next day. I remember leaving and I was like, we won't be back here for a long time. Like we don't have to come back. And we were back Sunday. Me and my roommates have a more similar schedule on Mondays and Wednesdays, but on days like today, I'm the first one up. So I have to get ready really quiet in the dark, which is not ideal, but it's just like, I wouldn't want to be woken up. So I was trying today. I mean, you saw it in my montage. I was trying to get ready as quiet as I could. I already have homework, so I need to do that. And I'm going to a core power class at 315 with Taylor. Before that, I want to try to clean up our dorm. We bought that Swiffer at Target and I just checked out the vacuum. So I'm going to vacuum the floors, clean them, and then just wipe off all my surfaces. We all changed our sheets on Sunday and did our laundry. So that's done for the week. I didn't think I would use that foldable drying rack, but it has really come in handy. It's in the bottom of my closet and I just pull it out pop it up and I can hang all my Lululemon and stuff that I don't want to put in the dryer in or on the drying rack. Laundry is a whole other thing. Someone literally decapitated our washer on our floor. It's not even on our floor. It's on a different floor, but the whole door is just broken off. So we only have one washer. So we have to go to like the other wings of the building or try to find washers that are open. And it was, it became like a two and a half hour process on Sunday because we all three were trying to do our laundry at once, me and my roommates, and so was everybody else because it was a weekend and it was like a week after everyone had moved in. We're learning. I probably, for going forward, I'm gonna try to do my laundry at more random hours so I don't have to deal with the waiting situation, but it hasn't been that bad because we really didn't have anything else to do. For the first two weeks, the school is putting on a lot of activities and I think some of them continue throughout the year, but the majority of them are in the first two weeks for everyone to meet people when all the students first get here. And for the first week, it was only freshmen on campus. So it's been way busier. But someone told me last night that it'll die down a lot because people will start skipping classes or figuring out, you know, different ways to get to their buildings. So it'll just be interesting to see how everything plays out. I keep going on tangents, but the DIY night is uh, mugs and tumblers. So we're gonna go to the like student union basically and decorate cups, which will be fun. And then there's another event with another Christian organization tonight. I'm trying to go to, I think I mentioned this in my last video, as many as possible so I can see which one is the best fit. So I'm going to another one tonight. I loved last night, it was really good because I mean, not a lot of people are Christian here. My camera just ran out of storage. I was saying that everybody warned me that it's different than what I was used to because where I live in California is very much in a bubble. And when I would hear people say those things, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I know, I know. But they were right, it really is very different from where I live and I'm going from 950, or somewhere between like 900 and 1,000 students to 30,000, it's a lot. But I really do feel like, I was, last week I was not feeling like this, but I really do feel like I'm in the right place. Like this is where God wants me. So I'm finding my peace in that. But those are my updates on the week so far. I really like the classes that I have and I'm really excited that I get to learn. I said this on Instagram because I just posted a little update because I've been waiting to post the move-in vlog. I feel so grateful that I get to major in something that's so incredibly relevant and applicable to my own life, like sharing my life on social media. And I get to major in everything that surrounds that. So that's the update on the first real two days of college. It's gonna be such a hectic week though because rush starts Wednesday. We have our rush orientation on Wednesday and then it actually starts this weekend and that'll be another vlog. Right now I need to start cleaning. I've been talking for too long and I probably don't have that much time, but I'm gonna get done as much as I can and then return that vacuum. I'll trade my pillow for your company. You know what? I, I just finished cleaning. I didn't do that much. I meant to do more, but I ran out of time. Oh, freaking A. I have to go return this too. I'm a mess. Oh my gosh, it's actually stuck. I had the worst day. <laughs> <laughs> right, Why? Number one, biology? No. Sorry. Wait, you have to tell the story about your rashes when you're done. Oh. Okay, go about your day. We can insert clippets of my rashes. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, you see it's it was a whole thing. Then I didn't realize that I'm actually taking two English classes, which is also my bad. And now I'm in one that's American Literature by Women. <laughs> Why is it so bad? Because I have to buy 70 <laughs> bridging <laughs> books for it. So many books. And my backpack did this to my butt. I need to get a lint roller. <laughs> it's weird, I bought a lint roller, but. Yeah, you, I watched you use it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm lying? No, you need to find it. I decided I'm not going to that mug thing because I just need a minute. <laughs> oh, I look really wrecked right now. Why would everyone be going home this weekend? <laughs>
We're going to get dinner. I'm making us late. Yeah, she is. Let's go. We are going to our first sorority event. It's just orientation. Orientation. Exciting. But we're ready. It's just like athletic wear, casual-ish, all the real stuff. Like all the meeting and going to the houses and stuff doesn't start till this weekend. But this is my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from PJ Maxx. We don't have to do anything except sit there and listen today, so we'll be fine. And I'm going to take you with me on the baby camera. The only thing about this dress is it just collects. Oh my gosh. So much lint. I'm Lula. <laughs> okay, I almost got it all. This is defective. Yay! This is Sarah. Hi, Delia. I'm Ryan. I'm Bryce. And we're all in the same hall. I don't know how to work this camera anymore. I haven't used it in forever. Oh. I'm very nervous right now. There's a lot of girls here. There's so many girls. I think it'll be fun. It's gonna yeah. meet everybody. It's gonna be good. Yeah. We're back. That was madness. I've never seen so many girls in one place. I feel so delirious right now. I feel like anything would make me laugh. The event was basically just all the information about Rush that we needed to know, and they gave us these little baggies. We got Red Bulls. We got some stickers, some little coupons. I'm editing right now, but Kira was telling the story of her rash in this clip and I didn't realize that our boxes with our address were in the back. So basically the gist of what she was saying is that she went on this hike and she broke out in hives like all over her elbows. I'm gonna put the photos on the screen and we had to take her to urgent care and she got put on a bunch of meds. She's fine now, but it was just like five days into college and now we can look back and laugh. Some other itchy medication and then it just started to clear up like yesterday. So it still has like low key look. Let me see. You can feel healing. It took a long time to heal. Guys, brutal. We all had to go to urgent care. And oh, thank God. My parents took me. For Emily's car. Mm -hmm. Thank God. We would be nothing without that vehicle. <laughs> oh, also, it's a nice car. Her name is Stevie after Stevie Nicks because I love Stevie Nicks. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Last thing. Before I get ready for bed and get to work, we also need to figure this out tomorrow. We're going to take it out tomorrow. Oh, that was tall. <laughs> My mom sent me my shoe powder, which is very exciting because I really wanted to clean my hokas and these clean them so well. And she also sent my cozy blanket from home because I love the blanket that I have on my bed color-wise, but not as much comfort-wise. It's not cozy like this one is. So I asked her to ship it. And last but not least, she shipped my new phone case. I'll link this down below. I will find the other one too. I'm a big fan of case to cases. I love them so much. I dropped my phone so often i don't have a screen protector on it which is not a smart move but this lasted me such a long time it has residue on it from my octo buddy i was able to just move it over anyway you can see the sides were just coming apart and it has just really seen better days so it was time for a new one so i'll link the one i got Good morning, I'm back from class. It's 11.30. I already feel like I have so much to do and there's so much on my to-do list and it's gonna be a very hectic weekend. But tomorrow we don't have anything for Rush. We have a break, so that'll be nice to be able to just get everything done. And then our building is putting on a dogs and donuts event at four where we can go and pet dogs and eat donuts. I'm so excited. I get sad every time I see dogs because I think about Reba, but it's happy sad. Like it makes me happy that I can be with other dogs. These need to be organized again and make my bed. My desk is also a mess anyway i really don't have that much time because i have to leave in a little bit i'm gonna go get lunch at sweet green just by myself i just have been wanting sweet green so badly because i went so much when the one opened up by my house and it's so nice it's like a luxury every time i don't eat food from the dining hall the dining hall food is not bad at all i really don't have anything to complain about it's just like a nice little change of pace to go somewhere else and i have the lower dining plan so i have less meals a week at the dining hall because i figured i would be eating at restaurants or just like eating bars for breakfast like i did this morning because that's kind of what i did in high school and i would just eat snacks throughout the rest of the day to make up for it so the whole reason i'm going off campus to get lunch is because i had booked another lash lift and tint i loved the other one that i got in california and if you, i don't know if you guys saw this video i talked about how i had these class pass points that i needed to use up because they're going to expire i can redeem them and get a lash lift and it's like a mile away so i'm going there my appointment's at 12 45 so i'm gonna try to eat lunch before do as much work as i can and then we have everything else that's going on the rest of the day i need to open this so i ordered this on ebay both my roommates have these really cute jackets that they're gonna wear in the games when it gets cold and i had fomo so i also got one it's really big it's like old nike but it has colorado on the front and the sea logo on the back on my salad i'm so happy this is so lucky that two washers are open right now. So I can do all my whites and my darks. 
here's dinner. I got a bunch of fruit and a burrito bowl. This is the moment we've been waiting for all day. Oh, yeah. Desserts today are phenomenal. Oh, I'm about to be double fisting it. Should I put one in my ice cream? Oh. It's a little far. We are walking to the next sorority function. How are you feeling? Amazing. I'm happy, excited, all the emotions. I got all my laundry done and we just got back from our first date book for recruitment. I still have more work to do, but I got a lot done and I want to show you guys how I'm organizing my assignments. It's 10:21 right now and we're just delirious. Also, when I went to go get my lash lift, the lash lady told me that I had to wait eight weeks for another lift, but she could tint them again. So she tinted them and she did my brows instead. I still need to wash my face. There's a little bit of darkness around my eyes from the tint, but it was so nice to get off campus and have lunch somewhere else and I was Were you just doing your own thing? I kind of was, yeah. Anyway, I have all my classes organized here and then assignments and due dates. I'll link the TikTok that I followed down below in case you guys also want to do something like this. I think this will just help keep me organized because I won't so be constantly that, so referring back to all the syllabus stuff. I also need to put this laundry away before I go to bed. This collapsible hanger has really come in handy. This is our gorgeous communal bathroom. I just washed my face and I'm really concerned about my under eyes. I'll show you in a second. It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting. But there's a lash tint on my under eye. I don't know how I'm going to get it off. I'm sure there's a way. I need to do some research. You can see a little better here. It's just a dark spot. I've been non-stop applying lip stuff like Aquaphor and this because it's so dry here. Because the altitude. I'm freaking out for no reason. Just because of rush this weekend if this doesn't come off i'm gonna have to use a lot of concealer i'm like hyper fixating on this uh, what is going on it's fine whatever i need to stop worrying about it i look bald it's thursday or it's it's friday it's not even thursday <laughs> try again it's Friday. We have a big, big day tomorrow. We have to be up at 5 a.m. I'm starting a new vlog no. for sorority recruitment. Yeah. So we're having an early night. We just got back at 721. We Brittany went to is dinner. Brittany is decorated. This she is Brittany the Britta, if I didn't already introduce you. She has a bit of a crack in her booty cheeks, but it's okay. I'm gonna go shower right now and shave. That way it can be super quick in the morning, but we have to be ready by 7 a.m. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, we went to dinner. We went to Pearl Street. If you're familiar with Boulder, Pearl Street is like the main drag. There's a bunch of cute shops and restaurants and we got this incredible Italian meal. My stomach is gonna be hurting, but it was so worth it. We all shared everything like family style. And I also got something from Free People. Here's patiently waiting to show what she got. <laughs> Yesterday at our sorority thing last night, I saw a girl wearing this with lemon shorts. I thought it was so cute. And I had no idea where it was from. And I walked into Free People and I saw it. I have something that's very similar to this. I don't have a good excuse. Do you wanna show what you got while I try it on? Katie's trying on her top. So this is what I got. So basically what I went oh, in there- this is very unstable. This is what I went in for. This camera's amazing. So good, right? I needed a new one. And then I wanted this scent, but I didn't want to buy the big one, so I got this oh, little shit. little thing of it. And then I had to spend another five dollars so to I get can get five hundred points. And I got this, which I'm never gonna use, but I love Sephora. Bye. Here it is. You're adorable. I'll link it. Also, I did get oh really God, good. Over here. Stop. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out because I am breaking out and it's just not the time because we've rushed. Couldn't hold back it's four. So I got this hair cream. I've been doing a couple slick backs and I realized I didn't bring my hair gel stick. So I decided to get this because I feel like I'll use it all the time. And highlighter. What? Oh, and one more thing. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It was on sale. It smells so good. This, you guys, this tripod. Not the greatest, but I'm not kidding. I left the other one, it somehow fell out of my backpack and I left the other one in my lecture hall. So I walked in two classes later. I thought that I just lost it in the dorm somewhere. And I was like, oh, it'll turn up. But I walked in and it was sitting on the table in the little lost and found pile with a bunch of pens and pencils. So my professor had set it up like with the legs out. It was just sitting there on the table. And I just have yet to switch them out. Anyway, I have a bunch more work to do and then I need to get ready for bed and go to bed early because we have to be up at the crack of dawn. Mostly excited, a little bit nervous.